Hi, welcome back. Uh, today, I would like to show you how to create this correlation chart and generate the correlation coefficients. So let's uh, go back to this international house price index database. And there is a worksheet on this country's real house price index from 1975 quarter one to 2020 quarter four. So I'm going to generate correlation scatter pots between different countries house price index year on year change. First of all, we have to generate this year on year change. Okay, after generating this year on year change of each country's house price index series, then we can plot scatter plot of any two countries house price index year on year change to see about their correlation. So say for example, if we are going to plot Australia and Belgium, then we choose these two series and click insert scatter plot. And here shows you that they are not in good correlation. And the scatter plot even does not seem to show a positive correlation. And of course, if you click the dot, right click, a trend line, then you will show you the best fit line. Indeed, it's almost a horizontal line, implying that they are not in positive correlation. You can also generate the equation and R square, and which shows a very low R square, implying that right, the best fit line provide very poor explanation power to explain these two countries' house price index year on year growth. Then we can move this chart to a new, new chart. And let me show you some of my previous preparation. Right, say for example, New Zealand and Australia, even though they are graphically located at the Ozonia uh, area, but indeed, they are not strongly correlated. Similarly, South Korea and Japan are both geographically located in Asia, but still their house price index year on year change does not seem to have a strong positive correlation. Well, UK and US seems to have a much stronger positive correlation, which is about 26% explanatory power. And these are the best, right? The R square reached to about 43%. And that is Ireland versus US. And you will find a very strong positive correlation. So besides generating scatter port to show the correlation, of course, Excel also provides functions to estimate the correlation coefficients. You can type C O R R E L, open brackets, then choose the R A one and R A two. So now let's choose Australia as R A one, and then choose. Belgium as RA2 to see how good they are correlated. Close bracket. Then here, the correlation coefficients between these two countries, house price index year on year change is only 2%. But then it requires you to plot one by one or to estimate one by one. Let me show you how to estimate all the correlation coefficient of all the countries in one function and present in the matrix here. Yeah. So you will find that, right? It become a matrix and it is a triangular one, right? And the diagonal must be one because of the same country, right? Australia and Australia must be 100% correlated. 
So the interpretation is Belgium and Australia, the correlation coefficient is only 2%, right, which is exactly the same as what we demonstrate by using the Cori function. But now let me show you how to estimate all these correlation coefficients among all the countries with just one function without doing them one by one, right? The method is data, data analysis, and you will find a correlation function here. Click OK. Then you will ask you which input range, then we right, choose all the house price index year on year change data from 1976 quarter one to 2020 quarter four of all the countries. Okay, that is the input range. Then the output range, if you would like to plot or to show here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, then it shows the figure. Uh, of course, right, if the unit is accounting, then you will show the pound sign, then you simply click number, then it returns to a pure numeric number, and the column one, two, three, right, stand for the country's number. So here is the result, and you will find a very interesting relationship. Australia house price is correlated with the UK's, and then the Ireland house price index is correlated with that in the US. And this is the method that you can, by means of one function, to generate multi-countries correlation coefficients. That's all for today. Thank you.